Yeah, man. And actually, I should ask you that as the first thing. How do you pr pronounce your first name yourself? Um, my name? Yeah. German Onuka. German. Okay. Yeah, German. Yeah, yeah. German. But some German. people call me German. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's actually the same, but yeah. it depends on the accent. You know, some yeah. people call me German, some people German. So I'm okay with both of the. German. Okay. How are things after the first uh, few weeks in uh, in Copenhagen? Yeah, it's good feelings. You know, I'm still uh, on the way to to adapt uh, on the team. So I'm trying to make connection with players, with coach staff, with people around club, uh, how much fast as possible and. Uh, yeah, actually, it was good two, almost three weeks, uh, and I'm just enjoying the time now, and everything is good. Yeah. Did you find a place to live? Yeah, of course. I live in uh, Hobro, I think. In it's called Hobro. Ho Hobro. Uh, it's yeah. close to uh, close to Nathan Road. I live because uh, we drive together. I think it's called Ho Hobro, uh, somewhere there. Yeah, okay. It's close to sea, yeah? close to water. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're happy there? It's yeah. It's an apartment. Yeah. Yeah, it's apartment. Uh, there is a gym close to, yeah? uh, to my apartment, supermarkets, so actually everything is there. So yeah, I'm enjoying. Also, and also sometimes I walk around, mm -hmm. so it's good views, yeah, it's a good area. So it's sort of center Copenhagen? Uh, no, oh. it's not center. It's no, not. no, but I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's real Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, real yeah. Copenhagen, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I didn't want to, to live in center, you know. I want to avoid this when a lot of people. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, sure. Yeah, I understand. I yeah, to, yeah. But yeah. still, I mean, Nørrebro, Østerbro, that yeah, yeah. kind of, that's, that's, uh, that's Copenhagen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. of course. Um, and, and what about in uh, number 10? Did you settle in with uh, the place and the teammates and, and stuff like that? Uh, number 10, what do you mean? Uh, the training ground. Ah, about pitch uh, on, on the base. Yeah, yeah the training uh, yeah. out in uh, Fredericksburg. Uh, how was the training, you ask? I'm, no, I mean the, the, the place, uh, yeah. did you settle in, did you find it okay out there? Uh, yeah, uh, the facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, everything is good there. You have everything actually, you have a uh, uh, couple of good pitches, this is what we need actually. We have a good gym, we have uh, uh, recovery stuff. That what I use for me, it's important because I am work hard every day and like all my teammates. So mm -hmm. actually we have everything and uh, Everything what we do there, it's quick, it's fast, it's intensity, and uh, yes, you have everything there for to growing. How is it compared to uh, Weile, the, uh, the, the, the club in, in Weile? You know, it's actually it doesn't make sense to compare them because it's uh, different clubs, of course. Uh, Weile was uh, actually, it was good also. Uh, we, we had like good, good base, we have there everything as well. Good kitchen, good gym. Uh, like meeting rooms, uh, uh, but of course in Copenhagen it's on the, on the different level. We we'll have to know it, so it doesn't make sense to compare them. A larger staff in in Copenhagen, uh, more people. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Even when you come on like physio room, <laughs> you have there like seven eight people who who take care about you immediately if you have something. Mm -hmm. So in the Valle uh, we have like two three, but you know. I've never cried that it's not enough or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm realistic. I know I knew when I played, and so now I'm playing better club. And I will, if I will get something, of course they will help me immediately. So yeah, I'm happy be, because of this. Can you tell me a bit about your background? I mean, everybody knows that you've been playing in Weile, but we don't know that much about your before yeah. that. How about uh, your childhood? Where did you uh, grow yeah. up and stuff like that? Start playing football? Yeah, I grew up uh, in Moscow. Uh, after I moved, I, I grew up to to the six, seven years. I'm lived there, and actually I'm start to play football there. But I'm start I start to play futsal, you know, mm, yeah. like five against yeah. five, four, four against mm. four. Excellent. I play three years there, and after my mom moved to the small city, uh, Pienza. It's close to the Moscow, mm. but it's like around four six hours uh, on the car. And uh, actually, all my life I'm lived there. I start to play football there as well. Uh, I play. I start to play like uh, classic football, mm. normal football. Twelve, twelve, I think. Mm. Yeah, years year old. Before I play only futsal, mm. because you know uh, in Russia it's difficult because it's can be sometimes minus thirty, yeah, thirty-five. Yeah. So it's not a lot of uh, grass pitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is why I start to play futsal. And like uh, thirteen years old, I think I start to play football. Uh, and I play in small team, Zenit Pienza. I am start to play there. I play three years after I broke my uh, my foot. Mm -hmm. uh, and one year I didn't play. I was at home. I was like uh, 
a lot of depression, you know, it mm -hmm. was a difficult, tough moment in my life. But after I start playing again, because my coach called me and said, you don't need to stop playing football because you have mm -hmm. everything for, uh, for this, to play on high level. And uh, he came on my apartment, we spoke, uh, he spoke with my mother, with my family, say, just continue to work. Okay, now it's a difficult moment, you broke your foot, you didn't play one year, but let, let's just keep on going. I will take care about you. It's, you don't need to score every game. Just start to play, enjoy, because you're still a kid. Because in that age, I was like, uh, I think, 15 year old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yes, uh, just a little bit start to play football again. And uh, you know, I'm getting better every day because uh, because I knew it. You know, this my sport, football. And uh, I play like two years. And 17 years old, I, I came on the first team, mm -hmm. and I'm start just training with them. And play for second team on, the, uh, on in, in Russia, but when I'm getting uh, 19 years old, I start to play for first team. It's like third division in Russia, and I play there. I'm score, uh, uh, I think, four goals for half season, and I go to like first division in Russia. It's like a level up, mm. and I play there uh, in Bulgaria. It's also Russian, uh, Russian, Russian city, Bulgaria, Astrakhan. I play there. Uh, Six months and I'm scoring again five times, and I moved to Krasnodar. Mm -hmm. I signed big contract with Krasnodar, mm -hmm. where I meet uh, Viktor Klasen as mm -hmm. well. Uh, but he wasn't first team; I wasn't second team because he was uh, like four years or five years older than me. And uh, I start to play there. It's really for me the biggest club in Russia. They take care about their players. They try to put a lot of training every day. That you just touch the ball, make pass, make finishing. You know, and uh, I play like three years there. Sometimes I'm training with first team, sometimes play for them, but the most of the time I was in second team, but it was the best time in Russia for me because they give me a lot in that time. And uh, after I came to first team, I was with them like six months, but I didn't play too much and I'm saying that uh, I want to go in loan mm -hmm. because I want to play on a high level. I, uh, and yes, I go to Tambov, it's like a Superliga, mm -hmm. but uh, like medium team. You know, I play for them five games. Oh no, I play for them 11 games. I'm scored for five times. And actually I could continue, but I say I want to change team. I want to go to Europe at that time. And uh, my agent find me for a club in Denmark. It was Weile. And I say, okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yes, yeah, I came. I signed contract for like six months loan. I came, I play 16 or 17, 17 games. I'm scored five times and uh, they both me. We signed contract for five years, yeah. and yeah. actually, yeah. when you're in Russia and you you uh, agent come and say Weile, it's yeah. a very tradi traditional uh, historic club, but it's not a big and fancy yeah. club now. Yeah. What what did you think? What made you say, well, that's okay, that, let's go to Weile? Uh, but you know, I was realistic at that time. I didn't play a lot of games in mm -hmm. Russian Premier League. Mm -hmm. I play actually only sixteen games. And uh, I didn't expect that Real Madrid will come and say, German, go, let's go, sign contract with us. Okay, of course, I'm expecting that some uh, medium championnat, because you know, Denmark is not top five, but it's not like, to it's not like 40 or mm -hmm. something there. No, it's like close to 10 mm -hmm. for me now. Mm -hmm. And I say, yeah, it's a good option. So let's, let's do it. Let's just try. It was a difficult time because it was COVID. It was like 2018, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, it was COVID time. It was difficult, but. When I came, uh, uh, I didn't know English, actually, oh. even one word, because now I can speak, mm -hmm. I can say something, but before uh, I didn't know nothing, uh, I don't know nothing. And uh, now I can say that this was the right decision mm -hmm. that I came uh, in Denmark, because I like this championship, I like this country, and uh, the people around you, they always try to help you, they try to uh, put you on the way, mm -hmm. you know, and so. The atmosphere and the team everywhere doesn't matter. I was in Valle, now in Copenhagen. The atmosphere in the dressing room, you know, it's the most important for mm -hmm. me. So I'm really glad and happy that I'm now here in Denmark and I can just play and enjoy. Mm -hmm. When you sat in your apartment with a broken foot, or you were getting over a broken foot, and the, the, your coach he, he he called you and said, "Come on, play football." What did he see in you? Were you a big guy or were you talented? What did he see in you? Why did he, uh, why did he pull you back? Because I think uh, the God gave me a lot. Uh, he gave me physical side, you know, and I can do a lot on the pitch. I know it. And the most important that he give, gave me is uh, my character.
because I know my mentality is give everything every day, uh, every minute, just give everything and let's see what will, what will happen. The university is like this. If you actually give everything, you will never lose. It's impossible. And uh, with this mentality, I'm live all my life. And uh, some people saw it and coach was the guy who saw it and this, this is why he came and actually he explained me that he never saw the people like me who just every day want to be better than yesterday. So I think this was the most important thing that he saw. Also another thing I talked to my, uh, some of my staff about is that when you were a kid in Russia, yeah. you don't look like the yeah. uh, average uh, Russian kid. Yeah. How was that? Ooh, actually, it was uh, it wasn't easy sometimes, you know, because uh, in that time when I'm lived there, some people they are not like was aggressive with me, you know. But some people just look at you, mm -hmm. they put finger on you, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like they they actually couldn't say nothing. But you know, this you can like see how they mm -hmm. act, you know. They can speak between each other mm -hmm. because of you, uh, even if you sit there, but you you you, yeah, you, yeah. Have, you have feeling that. It was un uncomfortable, but you know, my mom, my grandmother, my older sister, because uh, she made this way before me, you know, uh, and they, they could explain me that it doesn't make sense to try to explain them something. If some people act with you like, like it doesn't matter, you are black or mm. half black or white, it doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, it's about parents, you know, if they explain you when you're growing, they will never do it. But if some people act like this, it doesn't make sense to try to explain him. This is why uh, I'm taking it like normal. Mm. Okay, if if you won't act like this, no problem. So maybe I'm struggle like three, four years. But when I'm getting older, I'm say, okay, mm. I don't give a fuck <laughs> about them actually. So yeah. Another thing we we talked about, and I talked about with colleagues. Uh, of course, we know you from uh, from Baile yeah. also, but. After the first uh, media session in uh, in the training uh, ground, uh, the, we had a mix zone yeah. when you arrived. People uh, told me afterwards that they they like you there. They like you talk. You're good at talking to the press. Yeah. Uh, they 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 like you there. Yeah. I, um, do you like talking to to media? Uh, you know, it's not about I like or not. It's about I understand how work uh, how works. Mm -hmm. The football, you know, the people around the, the big, the biggest club in Denmark, they want to know about you everything, you know. And I know it. Of course, I want to explain them something, mm -hmm. how I'm growing, where I'm played before. This is my mentality. Because, for example, I'm fan of uh, Kobe Bryant, and I want to know everything about him. And they the same. Uh, we are playing, the, how I already said, the biggest club in Denmark, mm -hmm. and. Uh, of course, is my part of my job, and also it's not a problem for me to make connection with the media, with the fans, because how I say it is part of my job, and uh, I, I just try improve my English every day. I'm, You're good at English. Yeah, I'm good, but I want to be better, and uh, uh, that I could more speak with mm. the fans, with the media. Mm. But yeah, I'm like it. Yeah. I'm open always. You've just come to a, a new club. Of course, you knew Copenhagen. Um, there's a lot of new players coming at this moment. Um, but you know the league, you know the other teams, uh, some of them at least. How is that a, um, a, a, an advantage for you that you actually know the teams that you're meeting, you know about the stadiums and stuff like that? Yeah. How do you see that? But for me, it's big advantages. Advantages, mm. yeah, because of uh, even coach, he said that he need striker who know the league, mm. and uh, I think I was perfect in this mm. position because I'm top scorer, and I'm uh, in my prime age, and I'm now in the league because I'm play already two years, actually even more, yeah, even more. So, yeah, I have to use it because uh, actually now the same teams like last years. Okay, just maybe Sundarovsky and Arburg they came. But I have uh, like biggest club than before, so I have to use it, and they have to use it as well because it's not about only me as a player or there like a, a club or him like a coach. No, it's not about this. It's about uh, the connection bet between all of us. And so, yes, we have a lot of different kind of players. Uh, uh, someone didn't play, uh, like for example uh, the Latinos players who came now, uh, but I play here. Trot Nathan Trot also he play here. 
but uh, for example Gara or Latino players they didn't play before and we have to help him uh, explain for example this team play like this this team defense mm -hmm. this team play like four defender it's about connection so yeah is it nice for you that Trot here as well yeah, yeah of course we, because we was like friends in Valle as well and uh, here he tried to explain me some things try to adapt and uh, Victor Klassen also mm -hmm. when I came mm -hmm. the first day he showed me everything he said that uh, be like at home, it's a good team, it's good atmosphere here. So for me, of course, it's like good signal that, OK, I'm already have the two person with whom I played before. And yeah, it was, it was really important for me. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you. It was good. Hi. Ved du, hvem der havde de høje starts på FCK i sidste måned? Det var igen Unibet. Programmet præsenteres i samarbejde med Pro Treatment. Fysioterapi, diagnostisering, behandling og træning.